I know Chiggs is in here recording this. No Chiggs moved in here, right? So whatever you oh, say. Sorry, you know Chiggs gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chiggs gonna be on YouTube with it, man. Well, you guys, it's officially gone federal. Now, the DJ Envy and Rick Ross beef has spiraled out of control after both sides kind of crossed the line and went too far, with gunplay getting involved after Envy mentioned the fact that Rick Ross let his homeboy make a GoFundMe. Now, let me just talk about this for a second because I saw some of you guys in the comments saying, Well, he's right. Why would you let your boy make a GoFundMe? Listen, man. If you have rich friends in your life, you would know that you don't go to them every single time you have a financial situation. Obviously, they would help you out if you really need it, but you don't run to them for money every time. That's called being a moocher. Their money isn't your money, and you're not entitled to their money just because you guys are friends. Now, over the weekend, Gunplay leaked a phone call that he had with DJ Envy. If you guys haven't watched that video, make sure you guys go watch it on my channel. But Envy ends up apologizing to Gunplay over the whole situation and bringing his wife GoFundMe into it. Obviously, it's a very sensitive topic because his child was actually involved. Now, today on The Breakfast Club, DJ Envy addressed it, but he also revealed that maybe Gunplay might have been cloud chasing. Here's what he said. Oh, the way we can have a discussion. Yeah. Now, the thing is, he ended the call there. Charlamagne, how long do we talk on the phone after? We talked for about ten minutes after, and you know. And how was that? How was the conversation? The conversation was uh, very, very cordial. We were talking you know, about families. We were talking about how we first started. Talking about how to, how, how, to, how to squash this issue between you and Ross, and even how mm -hmm. gunplay. You know, even though he, he's had his his beefs and problems in the industry, yeah. he still was a friend to the room. He would come up and he would do all these things on the show. We yeah. laughed, we joked, we got off the phone positive. Yeah. Now I'm not gonna lie, it kind of looks away if you guys had a whole other separate conversation after that heated conversation and everything ended well because then you're painting this false narrative that you pressed him and got off the phone now envy did not stop there you guys know envy's dad was a cop so he's well versed in the rules and the laws here's what envy said and too right mm -hmm. and this is a side note it is against the law to record somebody's phone conversation mm -hmm. and not tell them that mm -hmm. is against the law. I, I I can't stand it i don't know why people yeah. do now that. and i want people i want <laughs> yeah. people to understand right florida is where 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 this happened right mm -hmm. Under Florida statute 93403, mm -hmm. secretly audio recording of another individual is a third degree felony offense, punishable up to five years in prison and a fine. Mm. That is a fine. Mm. So now district attorneys from Florida have been calling me like crazy because you're not allowed to tape somebody's phone yeah. call and put it out. Yeah. Like you, that's you, crazy. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be smarter. When, I, when, I, when I, I agree. People and gotta think, be smarter. And I think it's so whack to record somebody's phone call, especially when you have a conversation yeah. like a man. And I think men need to do men things. And I think recording somebody's conversation and not telling them to put it out, that's not a man thing. Oh, come on, Envy. You want to go that route? Not for anybody that thinks Envy was joking. He wasn't. He later said people don't respect boundaries, and that's how you gotta play with people these days. Now, this would all be so ironic if Envy does decide to pursue charges because this whole situation started with Gunplay's GoFundMe in which he needed money to be able to pay for hospital bills for their newborn baby. And if he decides to pursue charges, it can either land him in jail where he would be away from his newborn and his family or he'll have to pay a hefty fine, which might end up being a decent amount of money. And to think all this started over a promo for a car show. Anyways, tell me what you guys think about the situation. What do you guys think about DJ Envy's response? Do you guys think it's smart for Envy to go the legal route? Post your comments below. Subscribe to my channel. Like this video. I'll see you guys later.